friends, my strawberries have been in the freezer for 24 hours, so now I'm ready to blend it and make a yummy sorbet. You can see my strawberries, and these are all chopped up. I can't wait to try out this sorbet. It's gonna be so good. And now I'm going to place it in here, and I'm gonna turn it until I hear the click again, and I'm gonna press sorbet. So let's watch it go. So now, let's open it up. Yum. Oh my goodness. You can smell the strawberries. It smells delicious. One thing I noticed right off the bat with the first spin of this is that you can tell, oops, that the top has definitely got a lighter color, but the bottom still looks like the strawberries are compacted together. So it says inside of my Ninja Creamy recipe book that if it's processing and it still looks um, crumbly, to go ahead and re-spin the process and the mixture a little bit more. So I'm just gonna put my spoon through here. And it does in fact look a little crumbly. And so I'm actually going to take the advice of the recipe guide and I'm going to re-spin my mixture. But y'all, it is so yummy looking and it smells delicious. I can't wait to try this. So because it's a little crumbly, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back in there. Place my spoon right here. And I'm gonna keep my paddle mixture on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in. snap and now I'm going to hit this button right here at the bottom next to the power sign that says respin. All right, the respin is finished, so we are going to go ahead and release the lid from here. I'm going to hold and twist to release the bowl. I'm going to release my lid. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, you guys, look at the difference. The first time that I did it, it was really light and crumbly, but now with the respin, this looks like sorbet to me. It looks delicious. And what I'm interested to see too, as I get ready to pour this and scoop it out, I can still see some strawberry chunks in here. So what that tells me is either A, I need to chop my strawberries more finely before I begin, or B, I think when I get in here, I'm gonna see how that's more on the edge and not so much here in the, in the middle. So yum, this looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna pour some into a bowl. I can't wait to try it. Let me dig down in here. Let me see if those strawberries, let's see these on the edge. All right. So it really looks like it was mixed all the way through as I began to dig into it. So let's take a good look at this strawberry sorbet. So you can see it still has a little bit of a crumbly texture to it, but it's also really creamy looking too. So I can't wait to taste. So let's see. Wow, the flavor of the strawberry just shines. So as I bite into the sorbet, it is creamy, it is cold, it tastes like strawberries. And the great thing about this recipe is it's one ingredient. I literally took frozen strawberries, defrosted them, cut them up, and now I have strawberry sorbet. So this is a delicious recipe to have for my family. And again, sorbets are a great palate cleanser and it's healthy for you too. So I can't wait to eat even more of this delicious strawberry sorbet. Mm.